G'day, today I want to talk about a bug I found in the MSO 5000 series. So you can see my signal coming in from my uh, function generator. Um, this is a simple um, signal I've made up for this video, but um, I was working on a circuit that um, this got me stuck. So anyway, look, if I push auto, okay, it defaults to edge trigger and you know it's displaying the um, triggered signal on the screen if I select the type to window trigger okay then I move the trigger point you can obviously do two points right being a window trigger now watch what happens when I go to another channel I'll go to say channel 3 now push auto again there's our signal, menu, type, window. Notice how the source here says channel three. If I move my window trigger anywhere, nothing's happening. Watch what happens if I click source, channel three again. Now that got me because I couldn't get the scope to trigger and all the settings here were right. It was irrelevant if it was on um, when it enters or on time or whatever. Um, the other thing I noticed, if I go to another channel, push auto, sometimes if I move the default trigger, then change it to window trigger. Uh, no, this time it didn't work, but sometimes, sometimes it will. Um, so far I've only found this issue on window trigger. There you go. Um, and only when you use auto. So if I go back to channel one, I manually turn channel one on. There's our signal. I guess it's already going to be set to channel two, but there you go, channel one. There. Doing what it should do. The zoom um, doesn't have any effect. It's um, yeah, the rising falling edge doesn't have any effect. I'm not sure. I think it's just a little bug, but um, something to be wary of because it can really catch you off guard if you're trying to find a an oddball signal and um, it just won't trigger no matter what you do. But you know it's there, so um, yeah, just watch out for that little bug. Pretty annoying. If you enjoyed this quick late night lab video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be much appreciated as well. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Have you experienced any problems or bugs with your MSO series scope? I'm sure there's plenty out there. Otherwise, catch you later.